Hey, my outdoor junkie maniac friends, I love you all. How do you guys keep your electronics powered when you are on the trail? I discovered a really cool way and I will show you how I do it right now. All right, so this is not exactly a rugged outdoors guide review, I admit. It's kind of more like a luxurious outdoors guide review, but you kind of need this. If you're out and about and you're on a multi-day hike or canoe trip, uh, you're gonna need something to charge your electronic devices. And that is what this is. It is a, ah, there you go, you can see the whole thing. This is a solar panel, device charger. It's got uh, two USB ports on it, and I will tell you all about the details right now. All right, so the name of this charger is a Anker 21 watt power port solar charger. And as far as these types of chargers go, it's fairly fast. And it's, uh, it's, two, it's got 2.4 amps. It gives you direct sunlight in the middle of the day, of course. And anything other than direct sunlight in the middle of the day is going to give you a much worse result. But still, it works nicely um, so far. Tough, durable polymer panels is what it has. I can vouch for that. And they're basically embedded in a really tough canvas um, packaging. And it is weather resistant. Um, you know, I've had water on it and it doesn't really do too much to it. But yeah, obviously you don't want to submerge the thing. When it's folded up, it's six by 11 inches, pretty much. And uh, when it's open, it's 26 by 11 inches. It's got uh, stainless steel grommets around the edges, you can see, and that's just for hanging it to your backpack or just hanging it up on a tree. Somewhere in direct sun uh, would be obviously what you want to do. Uh, what you get with the whole deal, you get two, a two port solar charger and a three foot micro USB cable for charging. And you get a welcome guide. And I threw out the welcome guide. So it's pretty simple. There's not a lot to talk about on this one. Uh, basically, everybody just wants to know how fast does it charge anything. So I'm not going to use both ports right now. I'm just going to use one port because I have a uh, an iPhone 11 that has 22% left on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in and check it every half hour and kind of give you a, a, an update. And right now it's 12 o'clock noon on a sunny but September day in southern Ontario so the sun is not at its peak as it would be in June so you can kind of you know use that as a factor and gauge what what it's gonna be like in the uh, late summer early autumn somewhere you know in the northern US or southern Canada and uh, we can see how long it takes to charge this 22% charged cell phone that I have right now Okay, so here I am in my not so rugged house because I just realized that my little GoPro battery is running out and it was down to 50%. So I'm gonna just grab my charger here and uh, I'm gonna run out to where I've got the charging going on with my iPhone and plug this in. It's a dual port charger, so I'm gonna see how long it takes to charge my battery, which is 50%. And of course my cell phone now, which is charging at like 1% every like 90 seconds it seems. So it's doing well so far, but I'll give you a report in 15 minutes. Okay, so we're exactly 15 minutes in to our charging and the cell phone is at, come on, 31%. So we started at 22 or whatever it was and now it's 31. And uh, this is with two device is charging you can see here and um, over here the other device is my my GoPro battery and uh, I can't tell the exact um, progress there but I'm gonna let it go for about an hour and then check it okay so I had to take a break in my charging you can see I'm in a different place now and I've got the I've moved the, the panel uh, and the reason is that it rained like crazy from about 1:45 till around 3 o'clock and there's more clouds rolling in here even though I still got sun on me so it's been kind of a weird day kind of hard to do a really good test straight through but here's the summary so far uh, at 12:30, I started the whole experiment and my 
cell phone was at 22%. At 1245, that's 15 minutes later, the phone was at 31%. And then I let it go for another hour until 145, and the phone was at 54%. At the same time, I was charging my GoPro battery, and at 12.25, when I started it, it was 51%, and at 1.45, so what's that, like an hour and 20 minutes later or so, it was 89%, and um, it's been charging since, since this experiment has finished, it's been charging for about uh, a half an hour. I started charging at 3, uh, 3 p.m., and I charged till 3.30, Okay, so as I suspected, this little GoPro battery here, I plugged in at uh, 12.45 in the afternoon, and with a couple of these rain breaks in there, it was just around two hours of charging time, and it started at 51%, and it is, as I expected, 100% right now. So it probably took less than two hours, I just wasn't checking it every five minutes, I only checked it twice. So um, that, that was great, and that was charging along with a iPhone from the same charging array at the same time. So I'm gonna update you in a second um, with the next half hour. Nah, you know what, we're not gonna get it. I might have to extend this to another day because this is, this is not just gonna be a cloudy day, this is a dark cloud coming, like really dark, like I gotta get out of here before I get dumped on. So we'll see you in, uh, you know, when I see you. All right, guys, there you have it. It's 100%. It just happened a few minutes ago, and uh, the clouds have rolled in. They rolled in about 20 minutes ago. But here's what the deal is. Simply, I started charging this uh, at 50, actually it was 49% my iPhone, and it's an iPhone 11, if that makes any difference, I don't know. Um, 49% and that was about one hour and 14, 15 minutes ago, something like that, really close to that. And so you're looking at about, in, in direct sun, let's just say you're looking at probably, if you have one device charging like my iPhone, about 10% every 15 minutes. That's pretty good. Now, I don't know, your devices, everything will change depending on whether you have uh, you know, uh, a good battery or not, and what your device is. All kinds of variables like how much sun and um, what time of year it is, what time of day it is, all kinds of factors. And by the way, guys, that one hour and like 15 to 20 minutes or so uh, included about 20 minutes of overcast, kind of like you see the sky right up there over my head. It's not light overcast. There's some dark, rainy looking clouds. So you could probably do it quicker than that. But I'm just gonna say um, about 10% every 15 minutes. Oh, you could say every 20 minutes, but that's pretty good. All right, guys, so that's been my experience today. All right, so hopefully you got some, some good information from that and you can kind of figure out that this might be a, a fairly decent charger to buy, the Anchor PowerPort Solar. Um, and guys, this, just so you know, uh, if you don't already know, this is kind of something that's been going on for a long time. I don't get paid for any of these reviews. Nobody gives me even any incentive, never mind payment or free product or even a deal on the product. No, 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 I pay full price on Amazon and I'm Canadian, so I pay like twice as much as you guys pay. Even with the exchange, we still pay more. So it's from my heart and I mean it. <laughs> All right, guys, oh my. And so what's the takeaway? Well, I have to give this product a thumbs up, all right? Now, I have to admit that I haven't compared it to other products, so I don't know how many stars to give it as opposed to another charger. I do know, to be completely honest, that there are some people on Amazon that have given it not a stellar rating, that they say it just doesn't work very well, doesn't charge. That would have to be a defective product because mine works as it's supposed to work, I'm sure, because 10% every 15 minutes in midday sun is pretty good. Right, and uh, guys, the other thing is what I found is um, I couldn't do a really precise check on this because I just 
don't have the instrumentation, but what I can tell you is that when the clouds did come in, and they were fairly significant clouds, like potentially rain clouds, I left it. I left this uh, going for about an hour during that. I put another phone in actually, and left it going for an hour to check out how it would charge, and it did charge, but the charge was only about the the best I can come up with is less than two percent per 15 minutes as opposed to 10 percent every 15 minutes with uh, direct sunlight right so it does charge but it's a real trickle it's not great hopefully that that won't be a deal but I think that's the same with pretty much all of the products guys I really do uh, hope that you guys stick around for the next couple videos we've got going on because I've got a couple more reviews and I will for real be sending you guys some free product if you um, stick around just find out how <laughs> all right so just sign up and you'll get notifications and we will go from there all right guys thank you for checking out this video all right have a great excellent rest of the day take care guys we'll see you next time